We're joined by uh, VCU's Bones Highland, Corey Douglas in the middle, Hassan Ward on what should be your right. Um, Wayne Epps has a couple of questions to start us off. Wayne, take it away. Hey guys, uh, I just want to get your evaluation of the defense, uh, defense performance overall, you know, holding the 36% shooting, uh, season high 22 forced turnover, season high eight blocks. So um, just how would you evaluate the overall defensive performance? Uh, overall, I think it was a, a great performance. Um, I feel like the team, we um, focused on our keys before the game, just blitzing um, and just locking in. I feel like everybody followed the game plan very well. And then what were you guys' impressions of just the overall atmosphere, you know, uh, just to the 250 spectators, um, you know, had the artificial crowd noise, everything like that. Just uh, what were your impressions of that? And what was it like playing in that when you're used to playing in such a, a charged atmosphere? Uh, I mean, it ain't nothing like last year, uh, obviously. But, I mean, it, it's always good to have at least some little bit of fans there just to know they got – they're going to support you and cheer you on. But, I mean – Definitely nothing like last year, but it's definitely a good feeling to have him there still. Mark Davis. Hey, guys. Uh, kind of uh, piggybacking off Wayne's question there. Could you just uh, elaborate on that a little bit? Do you notice that? I mean, like when you're – I mean, not during the game maybe, but, you know, when you come out, it's just different when you guys run out onto the court and everything. Is that something that you guys notice, you know, just not – you know, that nobody being here essentially? Uh, definitely. You definitely notice that just running off the court. Um just in this building, it's a lot of love, a lot of excitement. Havoc is going crazy. Um, so not having that is definitely, um, you definitely notice it. But uh, just at least having somebody in there and a little bit of noise definitely does calm you down a little bit. Thanks, Corey. Sorry, Sean. Hey guys, congratulations on the win. Um, you guys started off fast, then Mount St. Mary went on, I believe like a nine nothing run and then you guys turned it on late in the first half. What was working for you guys in that run to end the half? Uh, I mean, getting, us basically being aggressive. I mean, I feel as though we were just letting them just get what they want and not sticking to our defense uh, principles. So, I mean, once we locked in and knew what we were trying to do for them. I mean, I feel as though like we turned it around and, and definitely went on the little run. And if I can follow up for Corey and Hassan, you guys really were clamping down defensively in the paint. You weren't giving up easy baskets in the paint. Was that a point of emphasis the last couple of days of practice before today's game? Uh, yeah, we were, um, we knew we were going to have, we were going to um, have the advantage on the sides. Uh, so uh, the goal was to dominate the paint. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Noah? Uh, Hassan, it seemed like uh, you were flying around there in the paint, whether it was getting a couple blocks or a couple steals. I guess, what was your approach to today's game? Just, just bring the energy, help my teammates out. We do what we do. Anybody have any more questions for the players? Yeah, Chris, I got one if you don't mind. All right, go ahead. Uh, Bones, uh, can you just guy, you know, you, you came close there at Penn State. You know, you guys you know, were, were, were very close to winning. How does coming off a game like that kind of propel you into a game like this where you guys are a player two away from getting out of the three and one and now kind of we're itching to get back on the court, I would imagine? Uh, I mean, it was a learning experience, definitely from that Penn State game. I mean, as we know, we we know we did late game, and we, we just try to adjust to it and fix it uh, the, the past couple of days in practice. And we just know we had to come to today and lock in definitely on the defense end because we didn't want to be in that type of situation again. So just knowing, just learning from that basically, and, and coming today with a different mindset. And uh, Wayne had one follow up as well. Hey, so I want to kind of follow up on Noah's question as well. Um, how you kind of have you kind of felt through these first uh, first five games so far? Um, you know, you let the team in blocks. Um, just how much more comfortable do you feel? You know, with having a full off season this off season, and and this is how you kind of value your overall um, start to the year. I'm pretty confident. Uh, 
just got to just gotta keep doing what y'all do, carry over from practice, and that's it.